feel vengeance felt very abstract. Uh, the music in this was very unsettling, um, but it perfectly matched with the images that we were seeing. It was like this eclectic set of images set to this music, very trippy. Um, it interspersed, interspersing like the nature and man-made and this older woman speaking. Um, it was it was interesting to try and figure out what this film was trying to say. Um, but visually with the glitches and the different colors and the, the showing the negatives of the film, uh, it all came together. It, it seemed to go together even though it didn't go together, if that made sense. Um, so finding all these pieces that you wouldn't think would go together and then just putting them in this eclectic uh, abstract um, film, I thought that was really interesting and, and cool to watch. Um, and of course having that goat at the end for scapegoat vengeance um, you could tell while watching this film that it was, it was very angry and I could see the vengeance in it. If, um, so yeah, so it was, it was very interesting to try and figure this film out, uh, while watching it. And I enjoyed doing that. I think scapegoat vengeance was a really interesting piece. I mean, you literally do have goat imagery in this kind of kind of evil looking um, with a lot of these spinning images and flashing images and really uh, bringing forth this idea of um, a trance mixing and uh, hypnosis mixing that with this rock background and the flashing images and uh, really luring in the audience and having them experience this um, trance like state with all these uh, these pictures of of vengeance and in the different ways that that can be expressed. I think it was a really interesting idea. Um, and I think, you know, having these pop up uh, to the tune of the, the soundtrack was really fun and really interesting. And I think it came together to make a really well-rounded piece. Um, yeah, an overall pretty dynamic, cohesive piece and really well done. I always get a little concerned when I see vortexes and spinning images because it kind of suggests that the filmmaker is trying to give the illusion of hypnotizing us. I'm not sure what they're trying to hypnotize us into with a bunch of random pictures. And they keep repeating bugs and what looks like a satanic satanic symbol with the goat and, and horns. Um, I'm not really sure what their message is. Maybe they were trying to hypnotize us and I just can't be easily hypnotized. I don't know. But it was quite interesting with flashing images. It might need a warning that there's a strobe effect in it in case some people have seizures and all. But it was quite interesting with the flashing and then putting the vortexes in does start making somebody think. And then when you start spinning objects and equating images with different objects, it makes you wonder, is there more to something? And more to what we're seeing? Perhaps it's a secret that the filmmakers know and they're not ever going to let us in on. But it's still a very interesting film. It's just, And the music along with the spinning objects and the random images really does give a feel that they're trying to hypnotize. But it was clearly done on purpose and I said perhaps I'm just not one that can be hypnotized. Hi, these are my comments on Scapegoat Vengeance. I really enjoyed this short. It was really arresting and very visually complex, I think, from the very first image. Um, it's hard to tell what it is, and I really enjoyed that quality um, that kind of went throughout the short of, uh, like, amalgamous forms um, into humanoid forms, into humans, back into uh, hives. There was all these different qualities working together to create, uh, like, a really... Uh, visually dynamic aesthetic um, and I think that first shot is a really great uh, encapsulation of that because um, it goes from like a pulsing orange into actual embers which like brings you into okay like not every image is what it seems and they are often layered and a lot more complex um, the further that you watch them uh, and so many other great images that like really paired well with the music. I thought that the score um, had this like panicked, um, almost like Matrix-esque quality that really gave the short for momentum. I really enjoyed it. 
scapegoat vengeance. Trippy and hypnotic. Great layering effects, so the juxtaposing images can build on one another, allowing the viewer to imbue their own meaning into it. Um, experimentally bold in the use of textures, um, the hits of neon and the nonlinear structure, but I just eat that up. I thought it was like a really nice, effective art experience, especially with that soundtrack affording the mood and the the idea for the viewer that kind of anything's possible so keep your eyes attuned to it but don't pressure yourself too much either just let it kind of wash over you and uh, see what connections are made what layers uh, speak to you scapegoat vengeance has some truly dazzling imagery um it's really amazing to see like how one image will transform into the next into the next into the next and how they break apart and come back together again the vast array of, of art styles and techniques is, is really insane. Um, I think both of those elements combine to make the film feel truly infinite. Infinite in diversity of style, infinite in the ways in which images transform. It's kind of almost like it encompasses like the entire universe, which is insane. Um, and it's so hypnotic and enjoyable to watch that you know you could just watch it, you'd be happy watching it for like an eternity. So that expansiveness um, and the creativity, like endless creativity, uh, is really extraordinary um, and totally unfathomable. I have no, no idea how he, how he pulled that off. Um, so it feels very experimental in the best possible way. 